Well, the Atlantic magazine, which used to be good before it became rigid and inflexible and humorless and stupid and uninteresting, is leading its latest issue, the March issue, with a piece calling on the Congress to impeach the president just because he's a bad guy. Plenty of Democrats already agree with this. They've been demanding impeachment for quite a while now. Do you still think the president should be impeached? Absolutely. Impeachment is not dead. One step closer to impeachment. Yesterday's resolution brought us one step closer. I will be dedicating 100% of my time, effort, and resources to one cause, working for Mr. Trump's impeachment and removal from office. Tom Steyer, ladies and gentlemen, he's a much better person than you are. And he's been calling for impeachment for a long time, but during the 2018 midterm campaign, Democrats tried their best to mute that message. Their leaders told the base, be quiet, shh. You don't want to scare people. No more talking about impeachment. We believe in democratic solutions to leaders we don't like. They're still saying that sort of in public, but will they be able to keep the impeachment enthusiasts in their party under control? Huh, that's the question. Mark Stein has been thinking about this quite a bit, and he joins us tonight. So, Mark, what, do you, what did you make, just tr since you're a long-time, long-time uh, magazine writer, you read this piece. What, what did you make of the argument it made for impeachment? Uh, well, first of all, I agree with your assessment of the present diminished state of the Atlantic Monthly. And uh, you said I was a magazine writer. Uh, I used to write for the Atlantic a, a decade or so back. And I'm not saying I'm one of their giants when you go back through the years, but they've had Mark Twain and Lord Moulton and all kinds of great uh, yeah. people writing for them. This thing goes wrong right from uh, under the, the sub-headline. Starting the process of impeachment will reign in a president who is under Undermining American ideals and bring the debate about his fitness for office into Congress where it belongs. Actually, American ideals, American values, however you want to phrase it, uh, those transcendental values, they are the province of the people. And uh, that is the prerogative of the people, not of bureaucrats and administrators and a pseudo judicial process in Washington. And as for the debate about his fitness, bringing it into uh, him about his fitness for office into Congress, where it belongs. No, that too, his fitness for office, that too is in the gift of the people. And we're teaching a very uh, dangerous lesson here. Uh, basically, they're, they're, they're not disputing that Trump was elected according to the lawful mechanisms of elections in the United States. What they're saying is they don't like the result of that election. And you're teaching the people a very dangerous lesson there. You're saying that voting doesn't matter uh, and, uh, in, in essence, thereby setting in motion uh, essentially uh, revolutionary conditions if you tell people in a free society that your vote doesn't matter. I think you're absolutely right. And I think that there are leaders on the Democratic side who sense that what you're saying is right, mm -hmm. and there could they could be unleashing forces they can't control, and they might be hurting themselves. Yeah. What do you think yeah. would happen politically if impeachment commenced? Oh, I think, it, I think it would be an absolute fiasco. I mean, one of the most deplorable trends uh, in this country in the last few years is the attempt to actually criminalize opposition. Uh, basically, this, this guy's piece is written in a kind of pseudo-scholarly, pseudo-judicial form, uh, but it's full of what uh, lawyers would call conclusory allegations that you're not actually allowed to make in a, uh, a, a legal complaint. Uh, he uses, you called it general badness. He accuses Trump of attacking the bedrock of American democracy. Well, you know, that's, the, that's kind of fancy writing, but what does that actually mean? Uh, there, is not a, there is no bedrock of American democracy. It's not down there by the fence in El Paso and you take a pickaxe to it. You can't actually litigate that. You can revile this president, you can loathe this president, president. Right. But uh, Robert Mueller's been investigating him for two years and has come up empty, except for Papadopoulos lying about a cocktail he had with the Australian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom in a bar in London. Uh, that's, that's after two years of this rubbish. It was a very dangerous cocktail, though. Mark Stein, mm. put it better than anyone I know. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Tucker.